to life after an earthquake crushes a major city in Morocco. The hunt continues for the survivors in these crucial hours. Plus, a champion at just 19 years old, Coco Golf becomes the youngest U.S. Open winner since one of the greatest to ever play the game did it more than two decades ago. We have reaction from the tennis phenom. Good evening, I'm Shante Lance. And I'm Joe Torres. We begin this Saturday night with that deadly police shooting, police involved shooting in Throg's Neck. Police say they were tipped off to an armed man inside the 7-Eleven by an employee who ran out of the store and into a nearby police precinct as soon as that suspect got aggressive. Eyewitness News reporter Anthony Carlo has new information and new video that reveals what happened next. New video tonight shows police officers rushing into a 7-Eleven to help a worker being held at knife point. I just thought there was some confrontation. I got my slushy, I walked out, and that was it. And the next thing I know, I'm, on, I'm coming up Tremont. They said somebody just got shot. The 22-year-old man who was shot by police armed with this large kitchen knife, they say. Just after 2 this afternoon, he entered the store and wouldn't leave. A woman employee anxiously stepped out. When the employee returned, the male was then observed behind the counter with another employee, and that employee looked very nervous. He was robbing the store, police say. The woman employee flagged down two cops at the 45th precinct just down the block. Police say the officers entered the store and told the man to take his hands out of his sweatshirt pocket. That male advancing down on the officer produced a kitchen knife and began to lunge at the officer that was giving him verbal commands. That officer then removed his firearm, attempted to retreat backwards, and he fired his firearm one time striking the male in the torso. Police say the suspect ignored the cops' repeated commands to drop the knife. He was pronounced dead at Jacoby Hospital. One woman who works nearby sickened by what happened. I wanted to throw up. Yeah, I, I work here. I just came back from vacation. Um, yeah, I want to throw up. To give you an even better idea of just how close the 45th precinct is to the 7-Eleven here, it's just right around the corner and about a half block down. If police officers didn't have such a short walk to respond, who knows how this could have ended. The police station is literally right next door, so. Right, right. So it's kind of shocking. Very shocking, because nothing really ever happens around here. In the Throgs Neck section of the Bronx, Anthony Carlo, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. A soggy Saturday at the ballpark. Yankees fans ran to the concourse.